I didn't want to bring this up. All right. I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't want to have to talk about it. But hey, my wife won't let me. My wife won't talk to me unless I talk about it. This idea that Ash Ketchum is the greatest Pokemon trainer of all time is one of the most asinine things I've ever heard in my life. Greatest trainer of all time? How about you beat somebody half decent? The Elite Four is a joke. Lance is Dragonite level 70? Give me a break. Please, there's got to be somebody else out there that's better than him. Greatest trainer of all time. That's ridiculous. I mean, look at his rival, too. His, ri his, his rival, he hasn't trained in months. He's been sitting his six Pokemon waiting for Ash. What's he doing? You gotta go out there and you gotta train. I don't, I don't understand this nonsense. And well, what's, what's the deal with Ash Ketchum and his Pikachu? What's he waiting for? Is he wait? What, 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 what's it? Give him a thunderstone already. You want to be the greatest trainer of all time? You gotta make sacrifices. Okay, I, you know, I don't, I, I don't understand. I don't understand this nonsense with Ash Ketchum. You're making, you're beating all these gym leaders. You know how much those gym leaders pay out? This guy's making a fortune. He's buying all the max potions, max revives he needs. You're telling me it took skill? No! Do you know how much those Elite Four and those gym leaders pay out? Do you know how much? He could probably buy 50 max potions if he had to. He could go up against that, that Dragonite with Pikachu! Just un unbelievable. Un 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 unreal. Unreal. You know, uh, hey, Ash, you know, show us a little skill, huh? You know, to, to grow up. Give Pikachu a Thunderstone, alright? Okay, if you at least play a right, I'll give you some respect. But uh, we'll, get, we'll get the calls. You know the number. 877-337-6666. We're going to take some calls now. Alright, we got uh, Charlie from Bayside. Charlie, you're on the fan. Alright, now, Mike. Uh, now, I'm not, a, I'm not an amateur. I've been playing Pokemon my whole life. Born and raised in Pallet Town. Um, but, uh, Snorlax, I can't get him to move. Now look, I'm I'm not an amateur. I don't want you to start making fun of me, Mike. I can't move the guy. Well, you know, listen, hey, it's not easy. It's not easy. When you're dealing with a Pokemon that big, and hey, listen, Snorlax, that is a, I mean, not, that is a big Pokemon, okay? So, I mean, that guy, I mean, please, listen, hey, you know, give him a cup of coffee or something, all right? The guy, the guy won't move an inch. He just snores all the time, and, uh, you know... Hey, well, listen, you know, not not knocking the guy, but uh, listen, if you want to move your snow out, you know, just be, you know, you gotta you gotta work with him. You gotta, you know, you gotta do some more battles. You just you gotta train him a little bit more, okay? You gotta get him to a certain point where uh, you know, we'll start respecting you. Maybe get a gym badge or two, okay? Uh, Mike, I got I got a call for you. All right, uh, we got uh, this is Nico from Flushing. Nico, you're on the fan. Like, I, I think you're wrong. I think you need a pokey flute to move the guy. You don't need no gym badge. Pokey flute? What are you talking to me about a pokey flute for? What? How? What? Mike, it's a Can I ask you? Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. How old are you? Mike, don't, Mike, don't. How, wait, no, I, I asked you a simple question. How old are you? Mike, I'm 17. 17, please. Okay? I've been doing this for 25 years. I've been doing this longer than you've been alive. Don't come to me with a pokey flute question. Next <laughs> call. Oh, um, Mike, would I use honey to move the Snorlax? Oh, God, listen. All right, I, you know, I didn't sign up for amateur hour, okay? I need, you know, I mean, these people, this guy, guy waited an hour, this guy waited an hour and a half to tell me that. <laughs> an hour and a half. Uh, okay, we got uh, Andy Ball. Andy, you're on the fan. Uh, how do you catch a missing note? How do you catch a missing note, you know? Now, uh, listen, hey, you know, a lot of people don't know this kind of thing. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but, uh, I heard, okay, from a very famous Pokemon trainer. I have the affidavits. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Though. I've read affidavits that you can go to Cinnabar Island, okay, and there's, there's something you can do. I'm not going to tell you what it is because, hey, this is big stuff. 
but you go to Cinnabon Island, and that's all I'm going to tell you, because I'm not allowed, I'm not, uh, listen, okay, I'm not allowed to tell you exactly how to do it, but go to Cinnabon Island. Yeah, Mike, I got a question. All right. So I was uh, training with my Pokemon in the woods. I looked up, and I could have swore I saw a hole in the sky. Do you think that's real? A hole in the sky? What do you, what, what, what were you, what, you saw a hole in the sky? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a hole. Wait a second. Wait a second. What kind of hole? What are you talking about? Mike, the mystic bird. You never heard the stories? The mystic I swear bird? I saw him in the sky. The mystic bird. Listen, okay, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, I know, I know training your Pokemon is hard, but you don't have to start making up stories, okay? <laughs> listen, we all have, we all have great imaginations, all right, and, uh, you know, you need ima you need some imagination, but uh, you know, I would I would, I would, I would lay I would really I would really take a break from uh, your train, okay? Mike, I have a follow up question. All right, what do you got? All uh, right, who do you think's a better Pokemon trainer, Johnny Menzel or Eli Manning? Okay, all right, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna stop you right there, and you know, I, listen, as soon as that guy got on, I knew he was trouble. I should have known that guy was trouble. -ish. I let him go. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it. Okay, next caller. Hey, Mike, I'm totally lost out of here. All right, what do you got? I, I can't get a map. Uh, my rival, you know, he said he told his sister not to give me one, and I said, smell me later. I'm out of luck. Can't find my way. Well, well, first of all, okay, the key to doing anything in life is to get a map. <laughs> If you can't, if you can't, you know, listen, look, hey, look on with a buddy or something. You gotta be able to, listen, you gotta have a map to get around, okay? And as far as your, uh, as far as your comments to your friend, you know, maybe that wasn't the best thing to say, okay? You'll probably never get your map now. Mike, I'm trying to fight a ghastly, but a uh, cut isn't working. What? what? Say that again, please, because I don't know, I, I'm not sure the audience... Heard what you just said. I'm trying to fight a ghastly in the tower in uh, one of the towns, and uh, I try to use the move cut, but it says the attack failed every time. All right, you're out of here. Okay, get rid of him. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Okay, listen. You know, we, we, we started off the show on the wrong foot. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to work with these. You know, I'm trying to work with you. Okay. You know, I mean, some people are just silly. Some people are fools. I, I, some people are fools. Um, I got a question. All right. What's going on with this Team Rocket? Should we worry? What are they doing? Listen, okay. You don't have. Listen, nobody has to worry about Team Rocket. They are Team Rocket. They are the biggest joke of Pokemon. Okay. You know, try try getting the. You know, try uh, try. How about you stop whipping your Pokemon? Okay, that might be a good first step. First of all, they're broke. Okay. Second, their team slogan is probably the dumbest thing. I have ever heard in my life. Team Pow Team Rocket blasting off at the speed of light. I mean, please, what did they they get the three year olds to write those lines for them? I mean I you know, I don't I don't I don't get that whole situation there, okay? If you listen, if you got if you don't have anything going, just just give it up, okay? Just give it up. Hey Mike, I got a call for you. Alright, we got uh Ian from Flushing. Ian, you're on the fan. Yeah, Mike, uh, you're the worst. You remind me of, of a mixed up Jigglypuff. You're white okay. and pink, and when other people talk to you, you fall asleep. Uh, okay, listen. <laughs> All right. We're, we're bringing back, okay, listen, we're bringing back something that happened uh, two years ago again. Uh, uh, listen, that speaks to you, not me. I don't know why you're wasting my time comparing me to a uh, Jigglypuff, okay? Have you seen a Jigglypuff? All right. I mean, yeah, it can sing, but please, listen. If you got nothing better to do with your time, don't call me about Jigglypuffs, okay? I've been doing this show for 25 years. All right. I don't need I don't need anybody telling me that I look like a uh, Jigglypuff. I got more important fish to fry, okay? Hey, uh, my Pokemon's evolving, but I don't want it to. What should I do? Uh, Monzo. Pull up the stats of how many times that's a good idea to get your Pokemon to stop evolving. I'll give you an answer, Andy. None! Never! <laughs> if you don't, if you, if you, listen, hey, 
You're not ready for Pokemon if you don't want them to evolve. Okay, that's all I gotta say. You're not ready. How about how about you? I, I got a good idea for you. Go to your nearest Poke Center. Okay, turn on your PC. All right. You're gonna want to access Bill's PC. You're gonna deposit all your Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> then you're gonna go to something that says release. And you're gonna let every single one of those Pokemon go because you don't deserve them. Uh, hey Mike, I got a question. Okay, we got uh, George calling from Bayside. George, you're on the fan. Um, there are rumors of a red Gyarados going around. I mean, that guy talking about Pokemon not evolving. Do you believe this guy? <laughs> I, I, I can't, I... Go ahead, go ahead, Joe. I'm, go ahead, Joe. Go ahead. <laughs> there are rumors of a red Gyarados going around. What do you have to say about them? Uh, blue, red, green, yellow, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really think it matters much, George. I think you're wasting your time, and you're wasting our time. A shiny Pokemon? What, what, do you, what do you mean by a shiny Pokemon? What are you talking about? A uh, Pokemon that is discolored, so... A Pokemon that... Are you trying to say a Pokemon that shines? Well, no. Uh, there's a 1 in 1500 chance of a Pokemon being a shiny. Alright, well, listen. Okay, all Pokemon uh, created equal, alright? We're not, we're not gonna... You know? We're not, we're not here. Listen, this isn't a show. This isn't a show to discriminate, okay? You know, there's a lot of things wrong in the world. That, you know, we don't have to pick on poor innocent Pokemon, okay? Let's 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 leave those guys out of this. Hey Mike, you're such a hey Mike, you're such a weather expert. How much is gonna rain tonight? Oh, we got another classic call here. Another jokester. Okay, listen, if you want to know what the weather is, how about you watch, uh, how about you watch Lee Goldberg? I heard he does a great job. Okay? You know, the, listen, all right? Don't, don't bother me with that, okay? It's, if it's going to rain, it's going to rain. And you people just, you, you, you're always hoping for uh, some kind of hurricane or something because you just don't want to go to work the next day. I've been sitting here staring at my, uh, my Game Boy for about four hours. Um... I don't know which starter Pokemon I want. You know, I'm trying to decide between Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtaquail. And oh no! You know, I'm I sorry, let him talk. I let him go. I let him go. I, you're, you're gone. You're gone. <laughs> I let him go because you know sometimes I I, I get it. You, you have a hard time choosing a Pokemon. It's an important decision. Hey, listen, Professor Oak only gives you one chance. But you, you, you went ahead and ruined it, so that's your loss, not mine. Hey, uh, I accidentally used my Master Ball on a Caterpie. Oh my, oh, <laughs> listen, that, now that, I hope that, I hope that that's not a serious call. Because if you wasted your Master Ball on a Caterpie, I don't know what you're doing with a Master Ball. Hey, wait a second, you know, how did you get, how did you get that Master Ball? How did you get that? Professor Oak, oh really, Professor Oak gave you a Master Ball, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll believe that, I'll, I'll believe, yeah, sure, I, I'll, I'll believe that, okay, and that's, that's a good one, I, I, you're making me laugh, <laughs> you're making me laugh, I, <laughs> Professor Oak, can you believe this guy, he said Professor Oak gave him a Master Ball, and he used it on a canopy, oh jeez, some of these callers, I, I mean, it's funny, it's funny. Damn my cave, I keep getting attacked by Zubats, what should I do? Uh, get out of the cave would be the first step. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're not looking for Zubats, uh, you probably shouldn't be in a cave. That's, I mean, that's pretty much how it is. Now, uh, maybe you want to catch one of them and you'll have your Zubat on your own, how about that? Who would win, a Blasto? Blasto, a Charizard, or a Mitsu? Well, how about you ask me a one-on-one -on -one Pokemon battle? Because you can't have three fighting each other at the same time. <laughs> so, how about you rephrase that question, think about it, and ask me again. Okay, I guess we lost them. Next <laughs> Ha, <laughs>
Mike, a serious question here. A serious? If, well, listen, if you're starting off that way, I don't know if I should let you go, but <laughs> I'm going to let you go anyway because that's what we do on this show. So, uh, I just got my Charizard, and every time I bring him to battle, he's so stubborn, he won't listen to me. What should I do? Oh, well, let me ask you something. Uh, how many gym badges do you have? Mike, I have four gym badges. Only four gym badges, huh? Well, listen, I hate to break it to you. You're going to have to get a couple more gym badges before he'll listen to you. If I don't respect it, he's not going to respect it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to catch Entei, but it keeps running away. What do I do? How many times have you seen an Entei? <laughs> Serious question. Because if you've seen an anti-